It's currently more expensive to generate electricity with a wind farm than a hydropower facility. Right now, wind energy costs just over 10 cents a kilowatt hour when the wind farms are located near major consumption centers. Wind energy cannot be developed on its own because it cannot provide the same power as a form of energy like hydropower. Wind energy has to be used immediately because the turbines can generate electricity only when it's windy. If there's no wind, the turbines stop generating and cannot meet our energy needs at that time. So we have to be able to count at all times on a steady source of supply in order to offset the wind's variability. Photovoltaic solar power doesn't provide the same service as hydropower. It cannot meet the demand for power early in the morning or in the evening. For it to make a real contribution, we would need a lot of sunshine, which we don't have in early morning and evening during the winter, when it's very cold and the grid is working at full capacity. Despite recent developments, photovoltaic solar power is still considerably more expensive than electricity from a project like Romaine. In Ontario, for instance, consumers pay 44 to 80 cents a kilowatt hour to integrate photovoltaic power into the grid. In Germany, we're talking about close to 60 cents a kilowatt hour for photovoltaic power, which translates into big rate increases in countries where there's been large-scale development of solar energy, Spain, for instance. As soon as photovoltaic power is advantageous to customers and competitive in terms of cost, Hydro-Quebec may integrate it into the grid as a complement to hydropower and wind power. Yeah, yeah, yeah.